Good morning, Ali. So, you know, I'm learning a lot about fishing this morning and you wouldn't believe this. I don't know if you know this, but ice fishing in the last decade has grown from 50 million to $500 million. It's a big industry. And that just had increased in just in the last 10 years. And of course I have Brad with me over here who's gonna be walking me through and helping me understand the importance of ice fishing. Brad, thank you for joining us. It's grown to $500 million? Yeah. Yes, and it's, it's amazing. The sport years ago was, was unattainable for a lot of people because the products were expensive, they were few and far between, there wasn't a lot of options out there. And now today we have you know, safety gear like Striker Ice where this whole suit actually floats and you don't need the top and the bottom to float. If you just have the bibs, it's going to float. If you just have the top, it's going to float. So now, if you go on the ice and the worst happens and you fall through, you're going to float. And that is a big safety concern for a lot of people, a lot of families going out ice fishing. And you can get these suits in men's, women's, youth. You can get them in any size, shape that you want. Now, so now, now that you have your suit that floats, yeah. and a decade ago, we didn't have these. And it also keeps warm as well. <laughs> yeah, exa exactly, exactly. So a decade ago, we didn't have these. So right. there was a little bit of inherent danger. Now that we move into the ice shelters, where 10 years ago, the ice shelters were not insulated. They were so just a piece. This right here is the shelter? Yep, this is okay. the shanty, the shelter. They weren't insulated, so there was very thin material on the outside. And you look at the comfortable seating you have, the poles, the upgraded zippers. I mean, everything is really, really, really heavy duty. So help me understand, when you, so when you drill a hole, is it yep. in here, right inside the yep. tent? Okay. It's right in there, and you sit right on the seat. So I'd be pretty much sitting right down over here Yep. with the hole with the hole and you're fishing and this is the rod that i'm going to be using yep just like okay. an office man it's super comfortable super fun right. and you can see how comfortable that is for a family to get out to do for an and, afternoon and, and or a day what about the tools to drill tools to drill right here so okay. basically tools to drill this one in particular here you can put a your normal drill from your workbench okay. right on this and this will drill an eight inch hole so super sharp to give you an idea this with a milwaukee dewalt drill on there with a decent sized battery, will drill through a foot of ice in about four to five seconds. Wow. Real quick, yep. all of this, for me to get started ice fishing, Ali and I were going ice fishing soon. Yep. So just tell me, how much is this all gonna cost us? Brand new. Okay. Brand new with the show deal, rod, reel. Now we're gonna go top of the line, right? Okay. So top of the line otter, top of the line striker float suit, top of the line rod and reel. You're gonna be looking at about $1,100, $1,200 to get into the sport of ice fishing. Okay. If you already have the drill off your workbench. Right, okay. Which I think is pretty reasonable. Now, the other cool part is, let's say you're, you're like, hey, I'm not sure if I want to buy new. You can go buy used off Marketplace or whatever and get into the industry for 300 bucks. Fantastic. All right, Brad, well, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing those figures. It's super important. All right, Ali, so just make sure you get the pocket change ready and we're gonna go ice fishing <laughs> Next week, how does that sound? And for us, you're going to learn quickly here in Michigan, the cold never stops anybody. We, we do everything in the winter, including ice fishing. And it, I know it can be fun. I haven't tried it, but it sounds like you and I are going to be trying it together soon. <laughs> so thank you for us for that live report.